Hi everyone, Dr. David Cullen here with Synergy Wellness in New York City. Uh, we've had a lot of comments about people with shoulder issues and clavicle issues. If your shoulder pops or it cracks, there is a good chance that you have a shoulder subluxation. That doesn't mean you have a shoulder dislocation, but you have a shoulder subluxation, which is a, a joint that's out of place, okay? Uh, it's not completely dislocated, but it's out of place. And that could mean a number of different subluxations, right? So we have our humerus joint, and there's a way to test the humerus to see if there's an anterior subluxation or a posterior subluxation of the humerus. Typically, it's anterior 85, 90% of the time. But then also, another common reason for clicking and popping in the shoulder when you raise your arm up is your clavicle. So is your clavicle level here at the sternoclavicular joint? And then also, is it level out here at the AC joint? So if your clavicle is out of alignment here, it's higher on, let's say, on this side. You can see with my fingers much higher over here. Then obviously, the clavicle over here is going to be lower out at the AC joint if it's higher up here. If the clavicle is lower down here at the AC joint down here, then the other end at the AC joint is going to be higher, right? So it really just depends where you know the practitioner would adjust that. Don't adjust yourself. Don't self-diagnose. Don't self-adjust your shoulder. That's dumb. Don't do that unless you want to injure your shoulder and make it worse than it already is, okay? But you wanna find out and see if the SC joint is subluxated or the AC joint or both, oftentimes it's both, and have that corrected. Also the humerus, you also wanna check the scapula, chromium process. So there's a lot of different um, segments in there that um, come together for um, as a joint in the shoulder. So all of that needs to be assessed by a hopefully a, a chiropractor that's a CCEP, which stands for Certified Chiropractic Extremities Practitioner, and they have some additional training in extremities. So again, if your shoulder pops or cracks, you most likely have a shoulder subluxation. You can get that corrected over a series of adjustments and then some strengthening exercises to stabilize the shoulder joint. Hope that helps. Thanks for tubing in. Thank you guys so much. If you got anything from this video, or even if you just like this view of the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you guys.